Hello, it's Dr. Karen Smith with HPVC High Volt Pulse Current and Wound Care. So, here our patient has a sacral ulcer that we're currently treating and it has been had the dressing removed. It's been cleansed with a wound cleanser or normal saline, 0.9 saline and there is fresh clean saline on this new gauze and this gauze is packed in very loosely into the wound bed so the conduit for the electricity to the wound is going to be the gauze that's wet for the direct method we use aluminum foil like out of your kitchen and we use an alligator clip. This is a pin electrode and we're going to pretend it's an alligator clip today. And we will add a little bit of medical grade tape just to hold that on for good contact with our alligator clip. So to close the circuit we have, um, this is the active electrode here that is on the wound and then 6 to 12 inches up we have upon the trunk of the patient more proximal we have the positive electrode and red and black is red is typically positive and black is negative but you can change the polarities with a button on the machine so you really have to um, use your attention to the buttons on the um, intellect machine. So underneath this electrode is a sponge that's been moistened with water or saline and it is secured also to the patient. Okay. So the patient has to be in a comfortable position to stay here about an hour. Okay. So if it's a smaller wound and you don't want to put the saline gauze in it then you can simply just put hydrogel um, in the wound and put the uh, tinfoil right on top of the hydrogel and that's perfectly acceptable. So it's monopolar setup. If I had another cable I could bifurcate this one um, coming into the wound and I could treat an, another wound or another location if I wanted to at the same time. If I come over to the Chattanooga unit for this, I've turned it on on the switch on the back. I've plugged in one cable for one channel. I have turned it to 50 minutes. It's on high volt. It says it's on continuous, but the nature of high volt pulse current is that it's already pulsed within the machine the frequency of a hundred pulses per second is what the Rose Handbook says to set it on. The polarity is negative and that is the active electrode that I have over the wound. You don't need a ramp for this because it's just going and so then when I go to hit start down here okay then I will turn up the amps you have amps. Um, if I hit start, the time will start counting down. I can, uh, I believe I can change amps to volts, and I can turn them up. Okay. So I've turned, I've hit the off button there, and if I want to, I can save this to my patients treatment card to give me an idea of what I've done. Since I have it hooked up not to a person, it's not going to run um, exact. Now, let's go to a different setup, okay? So, I'll use the same values that we just used, but the difference is going to be in the electrodes. We can take off this one and just have the saline in the wound. 
and I can have the indirect method. So you can take your carbon electrodes, you can put your electrode gel on the carbon electrode. You're using two small electrodes and you can put one on one side of the wound, one on the other. You have to secure those down um, with tape. If it's on an arm or a leg, you may end up securing it with um, some type of wrap um, that we have in the clinic. So we'll secure those down. And you still use a dispersive pad that is two to three times minimum as large as the electrodes. Now the closer that you put the electrodes together, there's six inches versus 12 inches. That difference is how deep in the body do I want the electricity to go. The closer together, the more shallow the electricity goes. Okay, the current will go. So this is considered a an indirect method with two small electrodes on the left and right. Now there's a red one and a black cable but it doesn't matter because on our controls we have the polarity set to negative and that will be negative for both of these. If they all come out of the same channel with a dispersive pad it's still a monopolar setup even though you might have a couple down this end. If I have two running from two different, if I have two different cables running out of the machine, then that could be a bipolar setup. There's a third item that I could use um, for this, and these are the stickies like uh, disposable that you see for TENS units. They're less mess, they're easy to use, and they're pin electrodes. So instead, of these black carbon electrodes, you could just use the, the TENS unit type electrodes. They already have the gel on them. So that's kind of an easy, easy peasy one. And then you would just plug into them instead of these black electrodes here. So that's three ways to do pretty much the same thing if you're wanting um, the black to be the active electrode, then you make sure that your machine says negative here. If you want the red to be the active electrode, then uh, what that means is you want it to be the positive one and the machine will have to say the positive one. Okay. After you complete your treatment, you just simply take off your electrodes either cleanse them or um, keep them for the patient in the patient's room or throw them away and get some more tomorrow and then do this treatment five to seven times a week for an hour. For this sacral wound probably the patient is in sideline so you'd want to make sure you had everything secured and um, you would check on them um, every little bit while you're doing this treatment to make sure they're not having any stinging or burning or that they've moved off of the electrode with it. And then after you get um, everything cleaned up, you'll take that saline gauze out of the wound and pack it with an advanced wound dressing or whatever that you have in your treatment plan.